Hey Alphacat, thanks for welcoming me to the lion's den. Um, long time watcher, long time subscriber, loved the videos. Mr. Delusional and Spit Substitute were awesome. Um, this is my first video response, however. And as you can see, I am making this video in the middle of fucking nowhere. See? Nothing. Well, not exactly nothing. There's pretty tree. That's pretty much it. So, for your benefit, I'm filming in front of a pretty tree with the sun kind of in my eyes. Uh, well, you can't really see the pretty tree, so should I do like that? No. No, okay. <sighs> Anywho. Oh, shit. Ugh. Hide under the trees. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I'm filming from the middle of fucking nowhere simply because I've already tried to make this video twice. The first time, I was had my room looking all nice, so I went and put the camera on top of the dresser and pulled out a chair and sat in front of it to do the video. But since my dresser's high and I'm not extremely tall, I had to be sitting on a couple of my textbooks to do that. And my camera screwed up, and I couldn't upload that video. If I could have, this video would have been uploaded three days ago. So I tried to remake the video again this morning, and I was almost done with making the video when somebody in the house wakes up and wants to nag at me for ten minutes because I don't answer the phone when telemarketers call. And it woke them up. And seeing as my camera screwed up, and if I can't make the video in one take, I've got to start over simply because if I have multiple takes on a video and I put them all together or try to load them in separately to my editor, they won't co complete right and I can't finish the video. It won't even upload right. So, here we go. You know, I watched the tipping video. I watched it like two or three times. My girlfriend even liked it and she doesn't even like most of the videos I watch on YouTube. So... I watched the video, and even though I'm not black, I felt compelled to add my own two cents into your tipping video, no pun intended. Um, basically, how I feel about tipping, and I mean, I know waitresses and waiters and servers of all kinds make shit wages, but this is just how I've always felt about it. And I promise I'm not quoting Reservoir Dogs or, Reservoir Dogs or anything, but that's just how I feel. Um, I think that... Tipping is dictated by quality of service, and um, if you are a horrible server, you shouldn't get a tip. Um, if you're a mediocre server, you'll get a small tip, and if you are a awesome server, then you get an awesome tip. Like, for example, I've had plenty of horrible service in restaurants. I think it's a Texas thing where there's mostly horrible servers in every restaurant you go into. Of course, then again, I don't eat at fancy restaurants. I was working in... My three major jobs that I had was a bookstore, a, f a warehouse, and Walmart. I also did foundation repair for a while. So, you know, I didn't really have the Benjamins to be spending at a fancy restaurant. So I, you know, local eateries and stuff. And so one time I went into, like, this little 24-hour... Uh, d uh, diner, breakfast, waffle house type place. And I go in there and I order my food and I order some coffee. And the coffee shows up and the coffee's not fresh. It had been sitting there for a few hours. I mean, I know it's late, but a lot of people go in those places late. Especially my neighborhood, because all the junkies would go in there late at night to get their food. So, I get my coffee and the coffee's not fresh. And my shoes are all wet. So I get my coffee, the coffee's not fresh, and that really ticked me off, because going to a place like that, I expect fresh coffee, seeing as they serve breakfast 24-7, so they always got the coffee on, you know? Then I get my food, and uh, I pull the silverware out of the napkin, and the silverware is still dirty. I point this out to the, wa to the waitress, and tell her the spoon's dirty. She says, oh, I'm sorry, wipes it off on her apron. And I'm like, no, I want another spoon and fork, please. And she acted like I might as well have just, like, pissed on her foot or something by asking for fresh silverware. Needless to say, I didn't tip. No, but there's other, also times, there's, like, three times in my entire life where I've had service good enough to warrant a really, really good tip. And... 
those three times, I tipped pretty good. Like, there was one time where I tipped, like, $30 because the service was so awesome. And then there was another time where I was in this little retro diner in the mall, little cheap retro diner where all the little teenagers go to for their first dates and shit, so the food's always cheap. And I ordered a burger and a shake. And they were damn good burgers and a really good shake, and the waitress was pretty cool. So, I mean, the check was like, like barely, it was like under $10, but almost $10. And I tipped an additional 15 I mean, you know, ooh, I tipped an additional $15 on a $10 check, but you know, hey, I'm the kind of guy who, if the service was worth it, then I'll tip. But if it's not, then I don't. And I mean, like I said, I know waitresses and waiters get shit wages. Because, hey, I know what that's like because my mother, for a majority of her, for most of her life, and a big portion of my life, she uh, waited tables to provide livelihood, her own livelihood, and on the situations where I did live with her, my own livelihood. And so the, her weekly check came in, and it was almost nothing. Couldn't even pay the phone bill with that. But every night she came home from work, her apron was like full of quarters and dollar bills and tips that she got for that day. And I'm in high grass, and I'm afraid I might be bit by a snake. Of course, then again, I think there's like only one venomous snake in Indiana, and what are the odds, you know? But yeah, my mom would come home every night with a whole bunch of tips. Like, like seriously, she was making the same amount in tips in a week that my dad was making in a week working as a mechanic. She was making awesome tips, but, you know, that's because she was a damn good waitress. All the people, well, not all the people, but a lot of the regulars of that restaurant came in and ate at that restaurant every day just because my mom was the waitress there. And then when she left the restaurant, there was a lot of people that stopped coming to it. But I mean, you know, hey, that's my thing. This video probably would have made a lot more sense, would have been a lot more interesting, and wouldn't sound as stupid if this wasn't the third time I had to try and make it. So, sorry for that. The uh, next video response I make, because I'm pretty sure since your videos rock, I'm going to continue to make video responses. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. If you feel compelled to speak up and comment on what I have to say, uh, video response or a text comments, welcome. Um, take a look at my videos if you like, do whatever. Um, but yeah, I enjoy watching your stuff and I enjoyed making a video response. So thanks for welcoming me to the lion's den. I'll make sure not to feed the animal on my way out. Adios.